everybody and welcome to the highlights of Game 4 in the Johnny Shakti 1 International Series between Sri Lanka and South Africa and coming to you again from Dan Bullock. Now of course the series has been won by Sri Lanka 3-zip and it's all about fire performance for South Africa today. Let's have a look at the teams that have been selected and if we look at the Sri Lankan side initially they have made four changes. Atapatu, Zoysa, Vaas and Hayrath are out in Jayanta, Maharuf, Dilhara, Fernando and also Malinga and South Africa is the one change, it's Dawson out and Peterson in. Sri Lanka won the toss and they have elected it to bowl. Let's have a look at the track, it looks uh, not quite as dry as the track that uh, we had in the game here the other day. And uh, obviously they're going to get some assistance out of that deck early on. Okay, let's uh, pick up the action with yourself and Dean Jones. Sudden Herschel Gibbs is starting to look like the guy that we know so well. A little bit of width. We'll see where the head is on impact. A little bit of width. Got on the front foot. Now he's starting to go at the ball. Look at it. Oh, that's Herschel that we know. Welcome back. Looking for two is Smith. And coming back for the second. That's good running. In golfing terms, you would call it a two club breeze that's blowing now what's but almost 15 to 20 knots down the ground he's running head into it there it is there that's a good breeze isn't it thankfully because it uh, if it wasn't there it'd be quite a warm humid sticky day I tell you what there wasn't that breeze to pull earlier oh, I can't start honestly I've been down here for two and a half hours Off his feet. He's knocked him down. Very good delivery from Dilhara from Hando. The big fella's taken a dive. Extraordinary delivery. He's having a bit of fun about well done, Graham. Here it is. Did it hit him in the toe? Oh. See? Boom. Nothing like knocking the skipper down. The swing got him. That's what got him. Jeez, he hits the pads hard, doesn't he? <laughs> Run! Have a look at how hard Graham Smith is, uh, is putting in here. He's watching this ball so intently, as you should be, of course, and uh, the series is over. like to have up, but uh, South Africa have got to play well in these last two. Have a look at the work he's putting in here. Back left scored, really working hard, getting behind the line. Yeah, there's a lot of effort, and sometimes when you're playing badly, you've got to remember back to the times when you're playing well, and when you're playing well, you're relaxed, you're, you're good pressure, he's light on the bat. He's had a oh, poor one-day series for his standards as well. Big leg cut out there. And when you're really trying to press hard and, and be watching the ball and be, try to be focused, it's a good proper delivery. Big leg cut out, wasn't it? The first one we've seen any scene movement today ripping it over but you've got to try and be relaxed as much as you can and, and I know 
know golfers talk about but when they've got a pressure shot they, they really concentrate on good pressure they don't try and grip the bat or in their case the club is hard you really got to try to keep yourself loose but watch the ball Have a go at those short ones all swift and he's put that away beautifully. That's a very, very good shot. Good control from the skipper. It's a natural shot, isn't it? Yeah, he's just short and he's and he's just jumped on it. He's looking to get forward, but his natural ability is just taken over there. Oh, that's a lovely shot. And that will release a little bit of pressure from him. Did start to shut the eyes a little bit there though. Last ball of uh, this, the fourth, 13 runs off the previous over, seven from this, so a couple of uh, good overs for the visitors. Yeah. Despite of that, good finish from Dohara Fernando. 23 for no loss. Yeah. Found the gap in the covers, and Woody Gibbs. Quite a we only started playing for the 17 as well. It was uh, devastating, simply devastating in that uh, second test match in Colombo, which uh, Sri Lanka then wrapped up the one day of the test series. What were you doing on your 21st birthday, Mark? Can you remember? Mate, my memory's not that good. My short-term memory is uh, very good. About uh, two hours ago. Two hours ago I was uh, having a swim in the pool, but uh, on my 21st birthday I can't remember. I know what I did. I met my future wife on my birthday. Well, you're not married to her yet. At the time. Back of the square. That's his chosen zone, Smith. Yeah. In a way, a lot of people probably would have said you should have been better off playing cricket. But anyway, on that day, but uh, 21 today. Was it Malinga? New ball, bowling for your country. God, what, could life be any any better than what it is for him? One slip now, a short mid wicket. Got go back there for the hook shot there for Graham Smith. Just have all that last shot from Graham Smith. He, he gets in position as early as possible because he knows this ball's going to come on him quick. Now, look at this, he's in position. And suddenly the last one has to wait a little bit. Has to wait a little bit there before the ball comes. So he's actually, if anything, he's peaked a little bit too early. Rather than just flowing with it. He was uh, talking about the test series, the second test, that he was forgetting about this action from Malinga totally. And just worrying about the ball coming out of the hand. Not the fact that it's coming out from in front of the umpire or coming out low. Just watching the ball come out of the hand. That's uh, why he felt reasonably, co reasonably comfortable. Malinga's uh, having a few problems overstepping today. Exercise for the circuit of silver. He'll bowl a lot of no balls, he normally does. Malinga, he's been belted a bit here, he's gone for 19 already off his 2.4 overs that he's delivered. And uh, he's running in with the breeze. Running close to 140 kilometres per hour, or a little bit over. Cool. Yeah, I, I think the best piece of advice you can give to Malinga is he said, look, don't worry about the no balls as much. Just keep running in and just try to get wickets for me. Just try to get wickets. Don't worry about my economy rate. You're a strike bowler. I need you to get one or two of these batsmen out. Excuse me, one or two of these uh, batsmen out. So when you get super fast bowlers like Brett Lee and Shah Bakhtar, normally their economy rates are very, very high. And uh, they're there primarily is to get rid of the top three batsmen if they can. Good shot. Didn't quite come out a little bit, but he's got enough wood on that to uh, pick up a couple. They might better come back for the three. Very good 41 feet. Yes, it was. Good stuff from uh, Sonoff, J.S. Urea. And then was off his three runs. Five overs gone. 31 for no loss. Probably just the one. Oh! Malinga tidies up. Edge. A lot of people mentioned the 
the uh, South Africa lost last week. It's um, was the, the batting, and I have to agree. But a lot of people, even in this commentary box, were saying their last ten overs were seven for fourth of September. Thanks, boys. Uh, seven for forty-nine. They lost in the last ten overs. So nice shot. That'll go for four. Now he's back. He, he, he's just. The way he's at the crease today, he's not moving around as much, and the fact that it's released a lot of pressure off him, Timon Navas is not bowling to him today, and that is just a beautiful shot. He has got a really good bat too, because that's hit halfway up the blade, even close to the splice to me, and it's gone away for a four. It's just a little paddle through mid wicket, lovely shot. It really was a good shot, and a good shot from Billy too, just rolling the rest of it. Both Smith and Herschel Gibbs and Cope. No one's in a real good pick. And all of a sudden, they look a little bit better on a pitch that suits them because there's more grass on it, there's more bounce, and they can play shots like that. They can get their foot to the pitch of the ball. And now we're on a pitch that's, well, almost suited to their own, own country. It's one of the few shots we've seen from uh, Graham Smith of late, but he's been timed, I reckon. He's really been struggling with some of the, uh, the lack of pace and maybe trying to uh, tip them a little bit too high from time to time. Nice little swing there for Maha Wolf also, but it uh, found the zone of uh, Smith's bat. Yes. That's nice of time to get a one two here is uh, Smith. Won't even get to four. Oh, no, the foot's out. Because he gets his quick, but the sides he gets going back to the third. Another good stroke here. There have been some good strokes played, a couple of streaky ones, but generally speaking, the South Africans have looked uh, very confident on this pitch. It's over pitch delivery, long half volley as you might have heard that expression used quite often, a long half volley, which basically means it's right underneath the batsman and in a very, very easy hitting zone, but it still has to be put away through a packed offside field. Same leg up, he's lucky to get away with that. If he only had to get a bit of bat on it, he might have got four more. Are you surprised, Tony, that uh, Sri Lanka put South Africa in? Um, not really, uh, from what I can gather. Uh, Jonesy says that uh, six of one half better than the other. As far as the pitch is concerned, it looks uh, just a little bit greener than the one was the other day, so perhaps they're listening to us. Perhaps uh, if they're leaving a little bit of moisture in there, a little bit of grass on the, uh, on the surface, that's, uh, that's good. That's the way they should be heading. So, no, it doesn't surprise me. You know, that's such a disappointing end to what was looking to be typical Herschel Gibbs sparkling innings and it's not the first time in this innings, let alone in the tour, that he's played that little pull to a ball that isn't quite short enough and he's paid the ultimate penalty. So disappointing. A little bit of credit for the bowler here um, and Dalala Fernando brought into the side of that scene, bought upright, it wasn't there for the pull, uh, it just nicked the bail. Boy, what, uh, what a delivery and yeah, you can't bowl him much better than that, just, uh, just nicking the top of the off bail. And uh, up his arm goes uh, almost casually, really. But you're right, that shot was definitely not there. A disappointment once again. Gibbs up for 27, having got a start. It's 47 for one.
often you see somebody get bowled out and the barrel falls forward. Sometimes you see it when the ball hits the base of the stamps and they, that somehow projects the barrels forward, but uh, this barrel gets a little bit of top spin on it, bounces on top of the barrel and uh, it goes, tried to get back in the grooves and then fell forward. CC trophy coming up. Uh, Lasit Malinga, uh, the fast bowler, the young uh, sensation. He's in the side. For Vez Maharuf, uh, he's an all rounder. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him, but I haven't seen much of him. For Lara Fernando, well, he's always been very promising. And uh, Saman Jayantha is uh, a batsman and goes a bit of Oshman as well, so we won't see what needs he's made of today. Four changes. Shot from Kalis, that'll go all the way. Billy Bowden gives the signal. 58 for one in 10, so uh, South Africa got off to a very good start here. Nearly six runs and over. Two capitals and a good shot here from Kalis. Very good shot. Superb shot. Uh, if you don't get them uh, much better than this, uh, that now, if you just look at the height of that delivery.
is the return crease, and with certain bowlers like Lance Kiesler jumps to mind, because uh, I was watching bowling and feel like bowls very near the return crease, and we know that if the back foot cuts the return crease at all, then I know the ball is cleared. But at least the umpire, as you're pointing out, Tony, if he's confident with where the bar is bowling well from the team, he can just look up the other end. And he hasn't got to go three different places, he's now only got to go two.
can continue that uh, kind of made by uh, Eric Simons. I'm not sure it was the greatest of timings, I must say. We went through a series, and uh, suddenly the coach has made a comment that uh, he might be reading too many switches. In saying that, he's a very honest man, Eric Simons, and uh, well respected by everybody. He's been involved in South Africa for a long, long time as a player and as a coach. He wasn't convinced it was the only time he gave his title a couple of votes and then stood up and counted. have set very high standards in this series uh, with their fielding, which certainly has shown great improvement, in fact, by leaps and bounds, and uh, that exemplifies uh, the manner in which they fielded throughout the series. What a great effort. That's a remarkable line here as well, since Tilly Grant throwing up that left hand. Sometimes Rudolf uh, Graysmith goes to that big snug sweep and uh, doesn't quite get enough on it. So about two thirds of the way back. So he's been watching that position. Oh. Went to the right leg side again, so that's uh, keeping the scoreboard ticking over. Seven runs off the over. 83 for two. Pressure here on uh, Jayanta, he's been obviously brought into the side. There have been a couple of changes. The first ball was a friendly full toss, the second one was a half volley, it was slap square. And a uh, good placement this time by uh, Jacques Rudolph, looking like he's playing a little bit more conventional today, which is pleasing to see, I must say. Wasn't uh, all that keen on those reverse sweeps. Not a chance to stop that. 15 not out off, 22 balls now. Sri Lankans are using the same sort of strategy in right. this um, game as uh, what they did in the previous one, but one must say that the previous pitch was more responsive to the spinners and you could use those um, half bowlers much easier than what they would be able to do in this um, game, on this pitch. And uh, one might have thought that probably the full-time bowlers may have been more useful at this stage. Oh, well, hey. you, you can also uh, lose a little bit more, but uh, early in the year against Australia, which they playing against Australia, he was rolling uh, medium pace, and was uh, Gianta. He's one of those guys who mix up a little bit. Let's see what these offers are, they're not spinning too much at the moment. I suppose they're not going to spin if they don't bounce. They certainly aren't spinning, as you say, that uh, James Smith has um, used his reach and taken him on the full touch twice in this over. And uh, we need to settle down sooner rather than later, as uh, the single seems to be coming very regularly. That's good work again, so this is a good over for the visitors. Seven runs coming off the first one from Giant. he's going to have to tidy up. 18 gone, 94 for two. Let's um, flick the way on the other side. I'm going to have another go here because uh, that was a delivery. I mean, Jacques Rudolph has, uh, throughout this, this tour, has played some lovely drives for the covers. What are you trying to do? Walk it down there. And and the 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 covers before. It's a hard volley. Oh. 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 
even if this is a result, a sweep is as a result of uh, trying to make Odisha do much about the cuts they played on, rather than uh, playing every delivery on its merits, sort of um, tend to premeditate when um, you haven't tasted success, when things haven't gone right for you. So um, the South Africans need to change that mindset, and uh, that would come by staying at the crease and occupying as much time as possible. Shocking shot for a batsman. 
that, uh, well, Joe Suri would be happy that he hasn't missed him. He hasn't added much to his call, but he's played pretty well, Graham Smith. 46 and he goes in South Africa. Well, they're in all trouble. 115 to 4. The minister has arrived at the crease. Jubilee, four matches and uh, getting an opportunity here. Uh, this is the sort of uh, opportunity that you like when, you, uh, when you're not getting given a chance. What you like is to be able to come in. See, I see it anyway. Come in when the sides in the spot of bother and show that you can play. I mean, that, uh, that's, the, that's the test, really. Play under a bit of pressure. Uh, great opportunity for him now. What he wants to do is just keep his head. Knock around a few singles. Keep the scoreboard ticking over. And, uh, and then be there at the end of the day. I'm happy that he's in there. I think he should have been in before Bouch. But anyway, he's in there. He's got 25 overs, 26 overs to bat now. And, uh, well, well, I'll look at it. If he, should, he should be able to get two to three runs off and over him. Uh, he finished with a nice 67. Got out. Just had a little word to him. To, uh, to learn a little bit of the local lingo here. Um, what he's saying here, this is just, just watch this, just have a listen to this, see if you can pick this up, what, uh, what he's going to say here. Now, I want you to pitch it just outside off stump, turn it back, and bowl the odd slower ball. Was it? I thought it was something else. Finger again, Roku Arachi is having a ball and I'm afraid Dormany is uh, he's certainly not going to do it today. That ball was bowled a little quicker, it spun back down the line and boy if you miss those, I'm afraid you're going to get yourself into a spot of bother and he has. He has great piece of captaincy from Jay Wadden, I pushed him the cover into a bat pad, pitches outside, hits him in front and I dare say that would have hit leg stump. That's a pretty good decision. He's way back on his stumps. The major problem, how far back is he when he got hit? And for me, that's a pretty good decision. Yep. Good captaincy for Joe Wadden up. Puts in the back pad on the offside, so he tries to play it off the back foot. And he goes for a duck. Well, so that we go. We feel that might be gone. 115 for five.
absolutely remarkable. Mark Welch was a very fine player. He loves playing on the leg side. He's got himself in. And yet again, someone looking to play straight. That's got to be the answer. You to play straight as possible. We've seen some full tosses. And also some half volleys have been swept square on the leg side. And just another prime example of uh, Chandra getting through Mark Welch. He is disappointed, as I'd expect. I think that uh, the coach would disappoint him as well. And maybe should put together a few uh, replays back to back. Anyway, Boucher goes for 27. And South Africa in some trouble here at 179 for 6. Lance Kuzner is the new batsman, and uh, hopefully he's going to have a good day here. Big hit from Kuzner. It was, but Robin, did he get all of it? Because if he did, it wouldn't have landed in the swimming pool that Mike Hazeman was in this morning. Hit it right off the toe. Good use of feet. And he's hitting with the wind, which is a smart play. And again, he's hitting in the carry corner against the spin a bit. I'd rather him prefer to hit straighter if he can. Ah, uh, that's it. It was interesting to note, though, that he knew he had enough on it. There was a man back there. But he never looked uh, threatened or anything like that. Fellow through and the look was, oh, uh, that's good enough. It's not a small ground either. Oh, he's dangerous. This is the old vintage of 1999 here. Against the spin and he's hitting through the ball. And I like him to hit a bit straight up. Can not get all of it? Let me tell you, come off the toe. Normally when he hits them, they go. on the other hand realises the danger man here is of course his cruiser and it's time to go now the great thing about this team Sri Lanka is that they change the balls around all the time you, gotta, you don't know who to target it's really hard because all of a sudden you could have a go on dual shot and then all of a sudden someone else could be bowling so he has to go now I think he's gone Direction. Ran past it, got himself into a position where he couldn't get the bat at the ball. Clever bowling and a dangerous man in this situation on his way back to the pavilion. He went a bit too early, didn't he? Saw it coming and just darted a quicker one. It went at 90 kilometers per hour and he cruised the goes. Look, he knew he was coming at him. Can't you be dangerous? But he goes, he goes for 12, so that'd be the 195 for 7. Against the wind here, folks. It's howling down the ground. 
and the thinking, just the thinking, the guy who looks to go, why would you be hitting against the wind to try to hit fours and playing a reverse shot that's got a high risk to it? I think some of the intelligence of the batting today has been poor. Why wouldn't you just dump the ball down the ground? Hit it to deep mid off, deep mid on. You've got to throw the ball back in against the breeze and hopefully Pike will come back for two. I just can't work out some of their thinking. Why would you play reverse sweep against a 25 knot breeze? Why don't you just hit the ball down the ground, hit it flat over the bowler's head, bounce it low and get it into the boundary. of reason he's hit that hard that's four more so a wonderful over for south africa 14 from it 213 for seven Just one bounce four. Oh, oh. He's called six straight away. I'm not sure that he's right. He's changed his signal to four. Well, it's a good shot because number one takes a lot of guts. He's hitting against the breeze here. This big breeze or wind that's howling down the ground. And that lands just inside. well bowled, that looked pretty full. Pollock has got a lot of bat on that. An awful lot. What a great shot that was. Yeah, and just the way he plays, he's backed away, he's cleared his left leg, he's made sure he got his hands through the ball. Good balance. And it's a cricket shot, isn't it? It's a cricket shot. And he opened it up a little bit and didn't try to overhit it. And he has smashed that with the breeze blowing down into that quarter. Now he's on the 45, he's one hit away for a 50 here. Yeah?
stopped the bleeding a little bit, didn't he? And, uh, and that's what he has today. He's 52, with the mounted from 69, he's got a 6, he's got three fours. Now, the last ball of Bayo. Now, he has to sacrifice his wicket now if he hits the ball down the ground. It rolls a reverse now. Bayo's a good hitter, he can smack it. But he's got a bit, it's just starting to reverse a bit, Robert, too, so... At least he's had a little look at the bowler's end to see what he's trying to do. But you'll know. Put the fine leg up. You'll know that you'll try and bowl full. So he's got to clear his right leg. Try and smack it down the ground as far as he can. <laughs> he's got that. Back to a square on the offside. Comfortable too. In from the last over. And a good little burst there from South Africa in the last two, three overs get themselves to 235 for 7.
wonderful effort from the man we're talking about. Callas going low to his right. I uh, don't know whether he got his hand under it and then it didn't parry to first slip or didn't quite carry. It carried and it just popped out. I think when he was trying to grab with his fingers again, once again the silver jag away on the street. Definitely carries. Gets his fingers on there, tries to grab it again and doesn't squeeze it enough if you like him just rolls on the top of the fingers. It's a wonderful effort. What a bit magnificent catch from Callas had to take it.
frustrating and gives him really have a chance to get to that because he was standing on a soapbox but again he's hit that right in the screws he's oh, he's real hard he hits the ball in funny spots too doesn't he he swings hard and he backs himself
So he's got him out Namakai and Dini four times. Okay. First ball after drink so we get his foot. Well it's amazing what the 12th man gives the batsman sometimes here. No feet, big heart, has been trying to work the ball too close to him, down a third man. And Mark Badger loves him. So Mackay and Teeny working hard into the breeze, gets the first breakthrough for him. And the Davis Gunawadana goes for 52, Sri Lanka 73 for 2. Kumar Sangakara comes to the crease now and he's an average of 30. Oh, 
river, which uh, at times uh, I think a lot of people felt that they were unable to do. And uh, it was pretty easy over there for that.
Uh, not an easy thing to captain any cricket team, especially a cricket team with uh, your sort of history. I mean, you chaps have been very competitive over the years. Uh, you love winning matches. Uh, this must be a nightmare for you. It is a nightmare. It's a nightmare for all of us. And uh, just, you know, I don't, I don't know what more to say. You know, we know where we're going wrong. We just can't put it right in the middle. I thought that we had a really good first 15 today and we had, the, we had them under pressure and we just had to really go and hit our lines and lengths, keep the pressure on them after that. And we weren't able to build any pressure after the first 15 today. And we had both sides of the wicket and, uh, and we just fed their batters after that. All right, well, the captain today, and uh, he did a very good job, Mahalo Chaiwadna will accept the uh, check for 2,000 US. Well, it's always a special occasion to captain your country, and uh, Mahela, you got that chance today. Did you enjoy it? Very much, yes. This is my third outing, and uh, the guys the guys who came into the side, uh, they performed very well at the start. And they were a bit nervous because they hadn't played that much cricket in the past, but uh, they really performed well. You say it's your third outing. Um, without my statistician with me, I don't know how many you've won and lost, but I'm sure you know. It's three nails, so I'm not too bad. Hopefully I can keep this going. <laughs> right, the man of the match. The Janashakti man of the match. Uh, we have to now invite Kumar Sangakara to accept the check. Very well played today. Uh, thanks, thanks, Lam uh, It was a great team effort, I think. Uh, we want uh, four changes to come out and uh, win the one day. And today was a really fantastic effort by the guys. I said to Graham Smith that uh, some of you guys in this uh, Sri Lankan team have got good memories. You remember when uh, the game was tough against South Africa and you're trying to make up for it? Um, I think um, none of us likes to lose. And uh, whenever we do lose to a, to a side, we always remember what, what went on and what we did wrong. And we always try to improve. So this time I think the guys have made a concerted effort together to get over all the obstacles that we've had in the past, and I think we've done a fantastic job. Certainly have. It's, uh, it must be nice for you, uh, behind those stumps as well, to have this nice balanced attack where uh, it's not just spin, it's not just moodly. Everyone is capable of getting wickets. I know it's fantastic to have Murray in the side, but it's always good to remind everyone that we can win without him as well, because we've got a lot of depth in Sri Lankan cricket right at the moment. Lots of youngsters coming through, and we've got guys like Darcy, who's a legend, who's doing a great job for us in the pace department. Malinga and Nguyen Zoe are supporting him, and lots of other guys doing the job and sharing the responsibility.